Good morning. Um, wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, something a little different. It's called Working Capital, uh, another program that we offer here at Everlasting Capital. Um, but I wanted to specifically talk about how Working Capital can help uh, the retail industry, right? So the retail industry is a huge industry throughout the world, um, which has a lot of needs, a lot of cash flow needs. Uh, and Working Capital can really, really help out, uh, especially the, the newer or growing uh, retail shops or retail stores with cash flow. Um, one thing we see uh, in retail is a lot of inventory, right? So if you don't have the inventory to sell, uh, you can't sell it. Uh, you can't generate a revenue. So um, where working capital would really help in that area, uh, especially if you're a seasonal business and you have a ramp up at a specific time of the year, uh, is for purchasing inventory, right? So you know your markups, you know the margins you can make. Uh, if you said, hey Evan, I need to borrow X amount of dollars to purchase uh, X amount of inventory, um, you're basically taking our money, uh, using our money to purchase inventory that you're gonna sell, you're gonna mark up, there's gonna be a margin there, um, to generate revenue. Uh, as opposed to using working capital from your own business, which can sometimes deplete the account, especially if you're seasonal and you're going into that ramp up period, you really need to have that working capital for either marketing or increased payroll, um, you know, other expenses, you know, just similar to that. Uh, so that's one really big benefit. Uh, another benefit is on the flip side to a ramp up period or your busy season, you may have a slower season. Uh, so on the tail end of your larger or your busier season where you're doing most of your revenue, um, you know, for instance, use holiday uh, stores that sell holiday items. Um, you're going to have a slow season to follow that. Now, a lot of people struggle with getting through the slow season because revenues are down quite a bit. Uh, on the tail end of your, of your busier season, uh, you can look at borrowing some, uh, some working capital based off of, of the revenues that you've made in the past, say, three to six months to really carry you through that slow season, get you through those slow times, so that when uh, next year comes uh, and you're ready to ramp up again, you're all set and there's going to be no cash struggles in your business.